what do you think she should have done in this situation with this date? So I went on a date today and I'd like to tell you about this date because it's classic. Um, we started speaking by phone. We've been talking for a week. We decided that we were going to go to a cafe today and originally he wanted to go to a coffee spot. I'm not big on coffee. So he did the cafe. We get there. Excuse me. I get there first and there's a wait. I put our name on there, but it was like a 45 minute wait. And I was like, yeah. I don't want to just be awkwardly sitting or standing here with him and, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of sitting down and kind of getting to know each other at a table. So we go to the restaurant next door and we get a table. He orders a coffee. I order a water. And then the, the waitress comes up and says, do you guys want anything? He said, oh, I already ate prior, but I hadn't eaten. So I needed something to eat. So I ordered myself a sandwich and... You know, it took a little bit, but then the food comes. And prior to that, he had been talking about all his cars. He just got a Lamborghini. He showed me the picture of the car. Um, you know how when people deposit money into your accounts, you get the text message. So he just got $200,000 deposited into his um, checkings. Great for you. Nice to see. Whatever. Good. I don't really care. Good. Great. Whatever. So... He's talking about all of this stuff and it's, you know, it's okay. Like people like to speak about the things they have and the things they do. And that's great. I mean, I'm not big on that. So, but I don't mind. We're here. I'm getting to know you. So I'm eating my food and he's like, oh, those smell great. I was like, would you like a fry? So now he's eating the fries with me. And I'm fine with that. Cause I'm like, you know, sometimes when you see somebody else get food, you tend to get hungry. So I'm like, okay, he's fucking hungry. But now he's eating most of my fries. And I'm like, okay, would you like half of my sandwich? He said, no, stuff. So I asked him, does he want half of my sandwich? He said, no, I'm not that hungry. But yet you're eating all my fries. So, okay. So the lady comes and at this point, I'm like, you know, I'm just kind of ready to go. So I asked her for a box and I asked for the check. So the check was placed in front of me and the box was placed in front of him. So he grabs the check and hands me the box. So I put my food in there and I said, how would you like to do this? Would you like to split it? I didn't know how much the bill was, but I was like, you know, this is our first time meeting. I feel like, you know, let me just be kind. Like I, I would do it for anybody anyways, but still. He goes, oh no, 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 I'll just pay for my coffee. His coffee was $4 and he gave me five. So I look at the bill. The bill was $20 and 50 cents. Mind you, when he pulled out all four, excuse me, all five ones, he also took out a $20 bill and gracefully put that motherfucker back in his wallet. And that's fine. He didn't even pay for the fucking tip. I was so pissed when I saw that the bill was $20 and 50 cents that the lady, our waitress, she ended up getting, I gave her $30 on top of his four or excuse me, $5 because I said, wow, he couldn't even pay $20 and 50 cents, but you could brag about having 200k just being deposited showing me your lamborghini your tesla your mazda your 2000 2022 bentley i really felt bad about myself because i'm like damn this nigga really didn't want to pay 20 dollars for a bill i have gone on dates with men who turned out to be bums and they've paid the full tab and you're bragging the whole date about everything that you have and you couldn't pay $20 and 50 fucking cents. It was a fucking cheap date at that. Didn't even get fuck. I have been applying for Love is Blind, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and I haven't gotten a response yet. And I am begging at this point for somebody to open my damn application. It even says I don't want to date in my area. Look at how this date went. My bill was $20 and 50 fucking cents. And I managed to go on a date with a guy who gave me $5 towards the bill and didn't even put money towards the tip. You could have gave me the fucking 50 cents. I am so upset. I'm like livid. And then they had the audacity to say, can I walk you to your car? I'd rather be walked by a stranger. Lord Jesus. I'm. If y'all don't open my application, 
My name is Gabrielle Basile. I am trying to get on one of these shows. I need to be something because look at, I just, I'm not going on another date. I'm done. Like this is, this is sickening. I just can't. This is sickening. A few things for this one. Honestly, she handled this situation better than I would have handled this situation to that guy, whoever she dated. I don't know. I wonder, was he black? Was he white? I don't know if that matters. Was he younger than you? Was he older than you? I think that matters. Also, I find that sometimes in these videos, people tend to not tell their side of things. So I kind of would well, like this. I, this is one of those situations I want to see. Like, what did he think of her? You know, one thing I always say is, I'm not as a person that likes to lead off with money. Like that was real corny of him to lead off with your Lambo and your, you know, your Bentley and your Tesla. Any type of guy that leads off with money and materialistic things, just nine times out of ten, they, they're not even worth it. Personality wise, they're not worth two cents. They let material things define who they are. There's a lot of guys who will sell themselves to women through materialistic things. And there's a lot of women who will sell themselves through sexually appealing to these type of materialistic men all of it at the end of the day is corny to me first of all to show up to the date and he's late ladies that's your cue to get back in your car and and, and head for the hills he can't even be on time that's your first red flag don't give me the opportunity to have a second red flag the fact that he came to a date where he set up at a cafe he already ate so what was y'all gonna do there why bring me to a food spot if you're not gonna eat with me she got fries and he uh, he got a coffee or something. It's corny to just know that the guy couldn't even pay for her fries. Fries that you dipped in and ate. After seeing you wasn't hungry because you already ate. And now you're dipping in my fries too. Now this meal officially becomes your meal. Now you got to pay for it. It's basically like she paid for the date. I don't even know how in the world she was able to see a text of his deposit. I don't know if that came through so much bragging on trying to show your, show your cards and stuff that a text just came in. A woman I'm meeting and, and going out for for the first time, I don't want her knowing I have that much money on me. I don't want you knowing that because now at this point, I feel like you're going to make everything seem so gravy and, 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 and cookies and cream because you see him worthless or something. And obviously he must have thought that was gonna get her panties wet. A lot of women don't go for that. And you guys know I do a lot of videos on, on dates and it's always the guy leaving the, the girl at the, at the table. This is a situation where the woman should have left him at that table. Let me go to the bathroom and freshen up real quick. I'll be right back. I'd have skated out of there. I would have left him at that table with those fries and that coffee or whatever he ordered. He would have paid that 2050. And it's even more disgusting to know that you couldn't even pay for the tip. You couldn't pay 15% of 2050. Don't think of it as a bad thing all the time. You should have came and started this video in the best of energies because you dodged a major bullet. What's crazy to me is she said that they talked for like a week before even setting up the date. Now I do a lot of videos where people just get their number one day and the next day or the next day after they on a date already. They don't even have any time to figure out they like the person just do conversation. They just go straight to the date and waste money and waste time. She said they actually talked for a week, which is pretty reasonable. Talking to someone for a week to kind of get the, the gist of a person is kind of reasonable, I, I would say. I may scratch it to two weeks just to make sure. And she did a week and they end up setting up a, a, a date and she even offered to go for what most women call the low effort date. She, she's not big on coffee, but she went to a cafe. I, I give her points for that because that wasn't something that she normally do. She normally don't, don't do those kind of dates, but she did it because she thought, you know what? Hey, let me loosen up my standards a little bit to see maybe if I was being too, you know, uptight or too strict on, on, on my standards. And this, these dates are the reason why women nowadays are going back to, no, I'm not taking this. From a man's perspective, when you do stupid things like this, you deserve whatever comes with that because obviously you took her for a certain type of woman that she wasn't. She looks pretty decent. I checked the Instagram out. She's pretty attractive. That's why I kind of want to know who the guy is. Like, I want to know what what type of guy was that because it seemed like she, she tried to be reasonable with the first date. It wasn't like she was trying to go all out. Most women who look like her caliber of woman, they want to be wine and dine. No questions asked. Spend 200 or more. Y'all know we see the videos all the time. I do a lot of videos on them. All I would say is you don't have to get on TikTok and rant about it and be mad or, or whatever. You dodge a bullet. Be happy that you dodged that bullet. Because all that doesn't mean anything. I don't know if you guys got anything to add. What do you think she should have done in this situation with this date? What do you think would have been the right response for her on this date? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think.